Hey everybody. Hey everyone. So I'm going to talk to y'all about the everything. I'm going to talk to y'all about the events that took place the reason why I'm not in school. I'm not at Ivy Mont no more. So, um, so the, so I'm going to talk to y'all about, I'm not going to talk to y'all about my high school life, uh, my middle school life, and my lower school life, no. Because, um, it didn't, Excuse me, because I didn't have prog. I I mean obviously I had problems in lower school, middle school, and high school, but it didn't affect me until I got to um both high school. So if y'all don't know what both high school is. It's like in college. Basically, it's like college. And I mean, you look at it as college. You think, at, you think of it as college, but really what sports high school is, is where you go to after you go from high school after you come from high school and you will do volunteer jobs. You will literally go to a job site. Like, now these that job sites I had, I did over um, 10 jobs, volunteer jobs. One, two, well, two was CVS. Two different locations, CVS. Batsmart, Old Navy, Kensington Park, Kensington Park Senior Center, Brookside, Brookside Gardens, Brookside Senior Center, Locust Grove, and HHS. HHS, HHS stands for Health Human Services. So I had 10 um, volunteer jobs. And I was the best. Not in my... Not in my saying, obviously. I'm not going to be a brat. I'm not a brat. And I'm not going to be a brat say, I was the best. No. I was the best because uh, the teachers say I was the best. So, I'm not saying that I'm the best because I'm a brat. No. The teachers say that I was the go to go for like fill ins. Fill fill ins like if someone is sick and can't go to work that day, I will fill in for them. Like at the beginning of it, it was good, but at the last. It was dying, so let me tell y'all the events that led to my departure from the school and from the program. So, okay, <clears throat> the first event was how I was treated. So, um... I wasn't treated fairly, and 
I was, since I'm black, I was treated um, with race cards. I was, I was getting treated like rude, bad, negative. I had negative energy around me, Be all of the teachers will just make little comments, little rude comments, and they will be like, um, she's too big for her toes, she's too big for her feet, that's She's too big for that little head of hers. She can't see because honestly, I can see. I got glasses on, but like as you know, like and teachers who can't say that to and special ed student and like. Comments like, um, you need exercise because you're too big, or you can't read, or just making fun of how I um, was reading. I will be honest, I don't read 100% good. That's why I hate reading. If y'all don't know, I really don't like to read. I I don't like to read to myself, and I don't like to read like out to like a group because I basically don't read smooth. I read. I basically don't read smooth smoothly all through I we like it like let me say I say in my name I say I don't say Kendra is I'm I don't say Kendra is a girl no I say Kendra is a girl so I don't read smoothly through so I got made fun of by the teachers I got made fun of by my weight by my size how I wear how I see and yeah and everything like that so anyway, the second event was my the teachers treat acted like I was invisible, acted like I wasn't there, and everything like that, and just acted like I wasn't in student there. So it was like it's like they was saying hi and saying bye and just doing small talk with the other students excuse me and wasn't doing small talk or saying hi or saying bye or absolutely saying nothing to me they acted literally the act acted like I was invisible, like I wasn't there, and everything like that. So then, the third thing is when I walked in the classrooms, they will look me up and down and roll their eyes at me and give me this mean look and everything like that. So, it's like, I'm, a, I'm like saying, 
I'm a student here. I don't want to not have respect. I want y'all to give me some respect and everything like that. And then the fourth is they does um made me they does strict advantage kept on taking advantage of me because they people take advantage of people that are hard working and don't give them no trouble and everything like that. So they took advantage of me when they wanted me to work, to fill in at this place or, yeah. So basically they kept on, like literally for two weeks, I was working, I kept on filling in at CVS for two whole weeks I kept on filling in at CVS and everything like that and probably for three days I say okay okay I won't I won't bug a body I won't say nothing because you know I'm flexible. I don't give no teachers and hard down. So I did it and basically um over over the time I saw them um that's taken clear advantage of me and everything like that so it made me think I'm not here to do these other students jobs and I'm not here to feel invisible and everything like that but anyway the fifth event the fifth event was where, um, the fifth event was when I came back from a month. I'm sorry, that was my dog sneezing. But I came back, he got allergies. But anyway, I came back from being in and out of the um, emergency room hospital. So um, I went in and out of the emergency room because I had a really, like, really bad ear infection and everything like that. So anyway, they had an, they scheduled a meeting. The meeting was on a particular day that my mom couldn't come, but she could call in. So, <coughs> yeah, so anyway, she called in. No, anyway, They, the reason, the reason why I keep bossing because it happened like last year and some things I really forget, but that, but basically while I'm talking, I'm remembering it, that's why basically I'm not talking smoothly, I'm like, uh, 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 yeah, but um, basically, they wanted to do an meeting that day. It was on a 
Friday. So the meeting was an absent meeting. So because of whole lot of dumb that year last year I've been absent from school and they wanted to have an absent meeting but the legal thing is um if my parent or guardian is not present in any kind of way if it's not physical being there or I can really say mental being there but if you're not physical being there if you don't have a parent or guardian that's physical being there or um on the phone they can't do the meeting they really can't do the meeting but they was they didn't listen because when we got in the meeting room it was me the vice principal of my program the post high school the um vice principal of the whole school and the PG lady. Now I forgot what her name is and but she reminds me of my grandmother. Legit <coughs> Legit reminds me of my grandmother so much. So it was only us in the meeting. So my mom, no, they called my mom three, four times, no, two times on the um, phone. She didn't answer. And then they was like talking to each other about to the self about so we continue the meeting or not. But the rule, let me tell you the rule. The rule is, I don't know if there's a law, uh, a law, but and I was in the Avimat school. The law is not to have a meeting without the parent or the guardian. Because since we have special needs, we can defend ourselves always because we can basically we can defend ourselves to a degree. And beyond that degree, we won't want to be disrespectful to, like, an adult, obviously. So, anyway, the rule is not to have a meeting without the parent or the guardian, well, for that time, the rule, for that time, that rule didn't apply, they changed it and everything like that, so they, so they had the meeting with me. I felt so scared because it wasn't like they was asking. It wasn't like they was asking where I was or why I didn't come to school. No, but they was trailing me questions like, you know when a criminal gets questioned by cops and by detective that's 
how exactly it was. I was on the end of the table and the ladies was like on the side of the table but um that was literally how it was. So obviously I was scared and everything like that. So I just um had to take deep breath and sigh and everything like that. So anyway, they was drilling me with questions and then anyway they say, Okay, where was you on blah blah date? So that blah blah date I forgot what date what dates I went to the hospital, I forgot. But she asked me they asked me about that and I looked at her them like they were stupid because they knew where I was. I the my doctor that I had for that month in the hospital literally wrote them a letter and we me and my mom took it up to the school and then they legit say okay okay and the it wasn't just a regular note no it had the hospital name on the paper too and everything like that so then they said that was I no they asked me where was I on those states and I looked at I looked at them like they were stupid because I'm not saying y'all knew y'all know where I was. So I say I was at the hospital. She said, okay, well, if you go back, tell your mom, if you go back, they will send, they will write us a note. Because if you don't have a note, if you don't bring in a note in, we can't mark you an excuse we could we had to mark you an excuse absence so i did like this in my head you're dumb you know what you're dumb b-i-d-c-h says because i legit remember my um my doctor wrote a note and then that same day that same morning we went up to the school to hand them the note and they literally say okay and then i came home bawling out crying and everything like that i was crying because I was basically scared. They acted like I was a criminal. They treated, not just treated it like I was a criminal, but they played it out like I was a criminal. And I was going to trial. Yeah, all those things. So... When I came home that evening, that afternoon, I was crying, and I told my mom what happened. Excuse me, I told my mom what had happened. And my mom was fired up and everything like that. So then, 
for the few days after that, she picked me up from school. She picked me up from school because she wanted to talk to one of the ladies that was doing the meeting, that did the meeting, but that lady obviously knew what she did wrong, so she was trying to hide from my mom and everything like that. So after that, it, so after that, it began the last day of school. Um, yeah, my mom picked me up early from school in the summertime, I um, didn't do summer school. I didn't go to summer school. Besides going to summer school, I went swimming. I was going swimming every day. Basically, swimming is my life. I like, I like to swim. Besides dancing, I like to swim. So I was going to go. I was swimming every day, and that summer. And while we was, while me and my mom was at the swimming pool, we was talking about what we was going to do for the last, for the last year of school, whether I could go back or not, and everything like that. So. We was talking, blah, 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 and my mom said, well, it's the last day, last year, you have to, you have to look at them and deal with them and everything like that. And for the literally, by, before the last day of school happened, my teacher, my, I had my phone, literally, it was like, what hell? The teacher test was what hell. But since I didn't charge my phone the day before, the night before, and my mom was going to pick me up, I had to have my phone charged. I have difficult time with it, I don't know why, but anyway, I had to have my phone charged, so my teacher put my phone on, and I sat back down to eat lunch and everything like that, and then my teacher snuck and went through my phone, and Dex, my mom, so, and then she used my Dex thing, how I will Dex, and my mom, no, my, um, that my teacher acted, basically, my teacher acted like I was Dexing my mom, which wasn't true. My teacher, it wasn't my teacher, it was my um, vice principal, it was the vice principal of the program, so my, the vice principal acted, basically my vice, the vice principal pretended to be me on my phone, and she pretended to be me and Dex, my mom. Because this what it was. That that morning that morning I told um I told my um teachers. 
I told my teachers that my mom was going to pick me up early and everything like that. They didn't like it because they wanted me to go to work that evening, that afternoon. So she pretended to be me and text my mom on my phone. I didn't know a pilot until I looked over. I was looking at a another student with my which was my co-worker for that morning but I looked over and I saw that my um, vice principal putting my phone down after texting my mom. I did like this. Oh my gosh. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was saying it's doing hell because I will kick your, you know what. I say that in my head, but then I say, I need to text my mom to basically tell her it wasn't me. So I just say, I just, I just fakely acted like I didn't see her and everything like that. So, um, she went in the other room to tell the teacher to tell her partner in crime or whatever that what she did because they both was like, hated me for some reason. I, I mean, I really don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, she hated me for some reason. So anyway, she went in there to tell the teacher, another teacher, what she did. That other teacher that she told was and behavioral. Portion that will get a car like if a student act up, kicking, hitting, or something like that, disturbing, whatever. So anyway, I finished. I got done with my lunch. I only ate one thing. I got done with my lunch, and basically, I asked my teacher. Can I see if my phone charging? So I said that. I say I want to see I want to see Yeah. Oh I say I want to see how much charge my phone has. She said, okay, but don't take care of the charger. So I went on my phone and I opened my phone. At that time, I, I took my password out of my phone. I don't know why, but, um, And so I went on my phone and my mom texted and I was so happy. She said, um, um, five minutes away. I need to talk to that little you know what? I say, oh my gosh, uh, yeah. No, I say, oh my gosh, like that, because um, I didn't want my mom, one, I didn't want my mom to change her mind, and that she saw that text, that, that sneaky, you know what, 
text it to my mom and my mom will go with it and say, okay, I will pick you up after school. I didn't want that. But number two, I was also happy that um, she knew it wasn't me that texted her. No, because then, this what the deck said. I remember it from my mind. I have an I have an photography, photographic memory. I really do. So that's why it said. Um. My teacher said, "Can you pick me up after school?" Because I had to work. That's literally what it said. And um, my mom was still in last, literally in less than five minutes. And my mom, yeah, so then after my mom got there, I did like this. That last dex, I didn't dex that. My teacher texted that. I just say that quickly because I didn't want my mom to think that I texted her that because really I just wanted to get out of the school and everything like that. So my mom said, I know, I know my babies. Dex, how she Dex, <laughs> it's true, because I don't, because what she forgot is to add, what my vice principal forgot to add is mess up Dex words, because I, I'm not a 100% texter, but I like to text instead of making phone calls. I really like to do that. But anyway, um, my mom finally talked with her, and she basically said what well, that what well, meeting got held and everything like that, and and then. She talked about using my using my phone and everything like that. But anyway, um, basically over the summer time, me and my mom were talking about leaving. Was talking about leaving school, leaving every mile behind, and everything like that. And then my mom basically said, like, a week before the brand new year started, my mom said, well, you have only six more months. And you don't have to worry about them no more. Yeah. I couldn't take it. I did. I said, you know what? No. And then my mom, like, um, for like three days, after that new school year started, three, for three days, my mom was like, Pushing me to basically for a week, my mom, the first week that school started back, my mom was pushing me and pushing me to like go to school and everything like that. So I was having literally meltdowns. I was literally doing stuff that. I never did before, like, throwing things, punching the TV. Like, I punched this TV back here. 
We got bunch the TV throwing things, screaming on top of my lungs, yelling on top of my lungs and everything like that. So then my mom basically say, okay, something is really wrong here because yeah, something really wrong here. So I talked with my dad and my aunt, and they both obviously say that we have six months to go and everything like that. I wasn't listening to them because I said that that they didn't see what I see. They didn't witness the pain I witnessed and everything like that. So. Then, like, and then, my, by the, well, by the second week, my mom, like, wasn't forcing me to go. She was still talking about going, talking here, talking there, about going, but she wasn't forcing me to the fact that in the morning times, she wasn't saying, Kendra, get up, you're going to school, or whatever. So basically, basically, about the first week, she was pushing me to go. She said, Kendra, get up, down for school, blah, blah, blah. But for the second week, she basically just kept on singing through the day that uh, if you go to school, I will pick you up. Or because she know that she knows that I like when my mom picks me up and everything like that. Or she would say, you only have six more months. Let's do it and get it over with. So basically from the first, basically the first week, she was really ooh, 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 trying to make me go the second, but the second week, she was just talking through the day, throughout the day of, like, you're going to only have six more months, or I'll pick you up, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, at the end of the second week, that Friday, I went to school. No, I didn't go to school. I went to my grandma's house. We went to grandma's house, which is my mom's house. Oh my gosh, which is my mom, mom's house. And my mom basically does say that what she had she don't want to go to school and everything like that. So after that, then that afternoon, we went to, me and my mom went to Hops. Hops is a restaurant that we have here that sells cheeseburgers, a good appetizer and everything like that. But me and my mom were just talking about when I, if I don't, if I didn't go back to school, what I will do here, what I need to learn this, 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 this. So I heard my mom talk, my mom heard me talk, and then we finally we finally got in the middle. 
we finally got in the middle and say that, okay, you don't, my mom said, okay, you don't have to do the last seat. You don't have to go to school no more. But you have to walk every day. You have to get on the treadmill every day. You, we will walk every day. We will, so basically, for probably, for, for the first month that school started up already, it was looking up, looking down, <laughs> and looking in the middle. Like, some days was good, then other days, and then... Anyway, um, the next month we scheduled in meeting. <clears throat> Excuse me, the next month we scheduled in meeting up at the school. Basically, this meeting was basically for me to basically say how I feel felt and to end it with thanks for the 12 years that yeah and everything like that so we had the meeting so it was me my mom in the meeting was me my mom the principal the vice principal of the whole school, the vice principal of the post high school, and the PG lady. I say PG lady because I live in PG County, Maryland. That's the only thing I'm going to say, and everything like that. So. We was all in the meeting, and then they basically, no, when, uh, so I wasn't, before that meeting, I wasn't in school for a month. So, anyway, I, everyone acted like, oh, they was happy to see me instead of my vice principal of my, the post high school. I looked at her and then I didn't look at her for basically for the rest of the meeting because what well, when I looked at her she rolled her eyes at me so I didn't roll my eyes in respect so but anyway she yeah so anyway I had an Basically, in letter that I read, the letter was legit like like this. So I read the letter, and basically I hit the keys of when did this particular event happen and everything like that. So when I got it to what my vice principal um, uh, of the post high school did. My mom stared at her, and the vice principal of the post high school didn't look at, wasn't looking at my mom because she knew she was busted and everything like that. So then, after I read my, um, letter out the principal the vice principal of the whole school basically legit say well whatever with that letter when we will expect you to come back tomorrow she legit say that so I started crying I started crying and everything like that so that when 
My mom started crying because she don't like seeing me cry. I don't cry. And when I cry, it's a big deal. So when my mom started seeing me crying, yeah. When my mom started seeing me cry, she hugged me and she whispered in my ear, you don't have to cry, we're not coming back here. We're not coming back here. So I, we sat down and everything like that and they talked, talk, they said that, well, when you come back, we could co cooperate it through the day that you could talk to someone like a counselor. I said no, no, because y'all will take what I say and switch it around and make me look like a bad person because that's what they did all of those other times before. So after that, um, the the principal, the why well, I keep saying principal, the vice principal of the whole school hugged me, and she said that I hope your future will be good. I'm sorry we couldn't do everything we could and and everything like that come back visit and then we watch out of them and everything like that i and little when i was when we came out of there it was like in whole life went through my um body it was like i could finally breathe and everything like that and then it was like when i i couldn't wait to leave the parking lot because i did i didn't wait i was i didn't couldn't wait for us to leave the parking lot and everything like that so like i hope you all like this um video i'm sorry it's like 53 minutes long but like comment and subscribe 